Welcome to Reason and Persuasion, Thinking Through Three Dialogues by Plato. Or maybe it should be Reason and Persuasion, Thinking Through Three Dialogues by Plato. We'll talk about it later. My name is John Holdo. I'm an Associate Professor of Philosophy at the National University of Singapore, and I'll be your lecturer for this course. As you know, this is an eight-week Coursera course. As you may know, the first six weeks of the course will be devoted to three dialogues by the ancient Greek philosopher Plato. And the written material, which will correspond to that teaching material, is found in my book, Reason and Persuasion, Three Dialogues by Plato. The paper version will be available on Amazon by the time this course begins. The free electronic version, it's a free downloadable PDF, is currently available and will remain so. So you're free to take your pick of the free e option or the paper option when that becomes available. Uh, this is an introductory course. That means it's suitable for beginners in philosophy. Uh, like all good introductions, it's also distinctive in its way. And that means that some non-beginners should still find some, some other material suitable to interest them. Uh, how is the course distinctive? Well, that may take us to the final two weeks of the course. When we leave Plato behind, jump forward 2,000 years in time, and consider some contemporary issues and problems and arguments which in some sense correspond to the issues, problems, and arguments we will have already encountered in Plato. And the moral of the story will be there that the more things change, the more they stay the same. That is, Plato is very relevant. I hope to prove that to you. Uh, what should you get out of this course? Well, since I've assured you that Plato is very relevant, you'll get lots of things out of this course. Approximately, you should get everything out of this course. Why do I say that? Well, one of the cliches about Plato is that all of Western thinking or all of Western philosophy is just footnotes to Plato. That sounds like such outrageous praise that people probably don't really think about it, but I will argue that to a surprising degree it is true. He's astonishingly influential, but everything is fantastically useless as advice as to what you might seek to get out. Uh, Plato is a crossroads. For 2,000 years people have been meeting here and taking things from this spot and bringing things and leaving here and making their way in, in surprisingly different directions. And that is Plato's legacy. He's this platform for people to meet. Uh, and I hope to present that to you. I'll point my way down a few of those roads and hopefully some of them will look interesting to you. Uh, but like any meeting at a crossroads, any decision, it's, it's up to you where you'll take it. And since that is the case, I think I will conclude this introductory video with a philosophical question. One of the cliches about philosophy, and it's a cliche about Plato too, is that there's lots of questions and not a lot of answers, or rather there's too many answers. Every question has different answers and we never really uh, get a final resolution to any of these deep questions we'll be asking. And I think that that's true. You won't be surprised to hear me say it. But what I'd like you to think about is why would that be valuable? Why would it be valuable to ask someone a question and have them give you many answers but not one answer? I think that question is sufficiently difficult that it should hold you until this course begins. Thank you very much for listening.